brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Every village has them. A stray dog, or two, or three, or maybe even a pack of them. Maybe out of sympathy, you fed them your leftovers. But did you know that doing this three consecutive days or more qualifies that animal as yours? Guam Animals in Need Executive Director Allison Hadley says Guam law is specific. Technically speaking, you take responsibility for that animal. A 2014 survey conducted by the Humane Society International counted 24,500 stray dogs on island. That number sound too big? A single female dog can have up to three litters a year. Each litter is about five to six pups, depending on breed. That adds up. Do your best not to feed the stray animals unless you're trying to catch them, because uh, it can. It just kind of creates a big, a real big community in your area, and not everybody enjoys that. So what can you do? It's, you know, it's one of those battles that as, as hard as you're fighting it, you may not see immediate results uh, just because they can procreate so quickly. And so it's just a matter of a multifaceted change. It needs to be the change in the way the community views the situation. So that means spaying and neutering uh, your personal pets. Uh, if you do have a community dog that you feed, um, they should really be spayed and neutered too. Costs often deters pet owners from spaying and neutering their furry family members. Gain has a low-cost spay and neuter clinic that charges just $50 per animal. For more information, call Gain at 653-4246. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.